Help. I am eating the right number of calories, but I'm not losing weight. Sound familiar? Probably. If I tallied up every single question that I received on social media, this would definitely be one of the most common. So I needed a detailed video to be able to refer people to, and this is it. Also a detailed video for you to refer people to. When somebody tells me how many calories they're consuming, I trust this number about as much as I trust a pyramid scheme sales rep telling me my earning potential with whatever opportunity they're trying to flog me. Tracking your calorie intake with a high degree of accuracy is notoriously fucking difficult. Now I know many of you watching this are thinking, yeah, but I track my calories perfectly. Stop. If you are confident that you are tracking 100% perfectly, you probably need this video more than anyone else. Now the problem is, if you think that you're tracking perfectly and you're not getting the results you expect, it can lead you to think that something is wrong with you. I have lost count of the number of people who have self-diagnosed themselves with a broken metabolism because they're not losing weight. For example, in one study, subjects were instructed by a dietitian and shown an educational videotape on keeping accurate food and exercise records. After that, some subjects reported an inability to lose weight despite eating less than 1,200 calories per day. But when their metabolic rates were tested, they actually fell within 5% of predicted values. They were under-reporting their calorie intake by 47% and over-reporting their physical activity by 51%, i.e. no metabolic damage. Now for those of you who are thinking, yeah, but this is just one study, I still know that I track accurately, let's talk about some more research. Another study took subjects who reported weight stability despite consuming at least 450 calories under their predicted calorie requirements per day. When verified, it turned out that they were reporting just over half the amount of food they were actually consuming. In the second phase of the trial, one group were told that researchers could actually verify how much food they were consuming, and although their reported intake went up, they still only reported 61% of their actual intake. One study gave every subject a set of scales, told them to record their food intake as much as possible, and gave them an instructional video and written materials with tips, including how to best record their food intake. More thorough than most casual calorie trackers, right? Well, they still underreported by 429 calories per day. Also, in this study, there was a second group of actual dietitians, and they underreported their calorie intake by 223 calories per day. Underreporting is so common that one study actually tested whether giving people a financial incentive would improve accuracy, and it didn't. One study verified online calorie tracker records in 98 subjects and found that they underreported by about 25%, which were similar numbers to another study which looked at food records and 24-hour recalls, which found underreporting by about 30% on average. A systematic review on 34 studies of people with a higher BMI found significant underreporting across the board. Another systematic review of 59 studies again found significant underreporting regardless of reporting method. In fact, the most accurate method, which was the 24 hour recall, still averaged underreporting between 8 and 30%. So, what is the important summary? Underreporting your calorie intake is not rare. If anything, we should assume it is a probable inevitability. And this is very important because a lot of people blame other factors that are often outside their control when they don't get the results that they expect. Don't be hard on yourself, it is very, very common. And another bit that I think it's super important to emphasize is when someone is struggling to lose weight on a reported low calorie intake, it's common for other people to call them a liar, as if any calorie underreporting is purely intentional. Pro tip, it's not. Accurately reporting your food intake takes a lot of practice. Calling someone a liar and making them feel shit because you suspect they're underreporting their calorie intake probably isn't the best way to help them learn. 